Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with another video here on Rugby League Live 4. And today, we got something a little different. I wasn't even going to do this one initially, but I had to give it a crack given that the challenge should be, um, should be interesting. We have the PNG Kumos taking on the Australian Prime Minister's 13. Surprisingly, the differences in the overalls isn't that bad, or as bad as I expected. Papua New Guinea is a 75 overall, and the Australian Prime Minister's 13 is an 81. As for the settings, the game will be played at Suncorp Stadium and will be playing on Legend Difficulty. Major injuries. By the way, you can download these two teams. I did upload them and the info can be found in the pinned comment. Let's run it. Alright, so I gotta start this off by saying I'm not too familiar with the PNG side, so I do apologize in advance if we butcher some names here and there. But looking at this side, I'm seeing if I can see anyone uh, that I know. And so far, Kyle Leibart, I do recognize he had a pretty uh, good game last time I watched PNG play and their hooker, Wotovo Puara. As for the uh, Prime Minister's 13, it's a pretty good team. A few surprise selections, like Jojo Fifita, and some interesting picks in Ben Hunt and Daily Cherry Evans. Even Tino I thought was an interesting selection, but then again, I'm not too sure on the criteria. Should be a decent challenge as always. If you do enjoy the content, be sure to run and show that like button and let's get into it. One thing you can absolutely guarantee you'll get out of a PNG Kumos game is plenty of big hits. I don't know if we'll be getting them this game as big hit animations are hard to come by playing on Legend. As Benny Hunt goes for a scoot. Right side they go. Back to Dane Laurie who's hit by Nixon put. Again, not sure if it's put or putt. We'll go with put. As we wrap them up, not many meters gained. That's solid defense without, without the actual big hits and they'll kick it into their own player. Golden opportunity here, we get good ball. Inside the first five minutes. And that's a powerful carry. Right side, Kyle Leibart, no way, that's forward. Gutted about that one. As they go to Burton, Burton throws an interception. Bit of a dicey start from both sides here. Bit of nerves maybe. As we go to Namo, he hits Ye on the outside. Lining up to the left, while well, we have the numbers. Rimbu looks to play out the back. That actually turns into a knock-on, another error though. For the most part, our defense is looking pretty tight. They go for the 40-20, uh, that backspin. That's a killer. And our boy Gebby takes the tackle. On the 20, plenty work to do here. We'll go to Laybutt. Bush short ball puts Dan Russell through. The ankle tap. Will pull us down around our 40. Skipper finds her in ball. Beautiful ball. Not much speed on our boy Naima. We get the offload away. Mutalik is taken on the 40. Puara Jr, that's uh, that's our skipper right there. Another beautiful short ball. And this front rower is fast as hell. Nemo. I don't know who created to these players, but some of them feel really good to use, like their speed. As we get to tie. And we are taken on the 10. What a set. Laybutt on the toe and the kick is pin. Points accurate for Edine Gebby. What was that? Like three three line breaks in one set? All from passes, no fins, no sidesteps. Absolutely cooking. Laybutt fielding the kick. We go to Dan Russell. Just on the 10. Who's got the go forward for the boys here? This is the one that's fast. Uh, Nemo. So try to play out the back. Oh, that's not the pass at all. We had our we had our 5 8 waiting in the cut, but they threw the floater. Picked off by Zach Lomax. As Nat Butcher looks like. Yep, he gets the first points. The PM13 hit back off a Zachy Lomax intercept. That's a tough try to concede considering uh, we're well and truly on top. Gotta start switching it up here. We are. Getting crunched. As Jojo Fafita 
We'll get pulled up. Around there, 40. Cheeky scoot here. Catching the markers off. We can't drag him over the sideline, though. Zaki Lomax. As they go. One off the ruck to Ben Hunt. Another pretty solid run. More PCMs. As far as Malawi gets through. That's a good offload as well. Last play. If they get to the skies, we're in trouble, I think. DCE does send it up. The Fox will make the catch. Out leaping, just get it out. Many butts. Wow, he gets hit after kicking. Dirty shot. On now playmaker, Laurie gets around one. Let's see. Try and put the head on. We didn't tackle anyone. Fresh air. Crichton makes plenty of meters. 19 meters now. Just can't quite get ourselves out the mud. That's Nemo. What's he doing on the sideline? He makes the kick. And it's a good one too. Josh had a car with the error there. If I see Sylvester, Nemo, in any career mode save, I'm definitely going to sign him, eh? He's been mad. As we get it out to Rimbu. He's taken. Both halves have been on fire. As we test the short side, draw and pass. Out to Nuklik. Inside the five. Cherry on top if we can score another try here. We're pretty flat. And it's Wartovel. Back to Leibart. Another draw and pass. Nice line. But Russell gets rocked. As we go back to Rambu, just constantly asking questions of our playmakers. Wartovel. Out to Leibart. On the toe. And look who it is. It's Sylvester. Nemo. Sylvester. Now more. Puts us back in the lead. If any PNG boys are watching this out there, please feel free to correct me of the proper pronunciation of these lads' names in the comment section. This has been uh, this has been a good time. All that struggling are off the kickoff now. The Prime Minister 13 just given up. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's been fun. Look, another line break. Without oh, come on, cut it out. That was our boy Sylvester. With the initial line break. That's Gibby. Looks to skirt around defenders. Unable to do so. Eight minutes to go. Last play. No big hits, no nothing. An error on the last. Let's go to the left. Rambu to Gibby straight through. Looking for support. He gets clipped in a high tackle. One play, the final play. Can we score some points? John gets tackled. Fights for more meters. And that is a GG. We come away with the dub. You check it out, our boy Sylvester Nemo gets a man of the match. This might actually be the first time a front rower's picked up man of the match. For me, at least, I can't remember the last time a front rower or a forward in general picked up uh, the man of the match. Like I was saying throughout the match, it was a ton of fun playing with this team. We made 17 line breaks and a majority of those line breaks came from clean ball playing. And I'm not going to lie, I definitely wasn't expecting the place to be that smooth with this team. But yeah, boys, we're going to wrap it up there. As always, if you enjoyed that, if you'd like to see more League Life 4 content or more content in general, be sure to run straight that like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later.